Thunder Bay Police are now speaking publicly about the city's two latest homicides. One occurred early Friday morning and the other happened Saturday evening. Thunder Bay has already surpassed the total number of murders from all of 2021. Mitchell Ringo's reports. Thunder Bay is now sitting at eight homicides this year, which is two more than all of 2021. The most recent one took place in the 100 block of Crown Street on Saturday. The victim's name has not yet been released, but city police announced the arrest of 18-year-old Daniel Braden Keefe of Thunder Bay on a charge of second-degree murder. Detective Inspector Jeremy Pearson says at this point there is no information that the illicit drug trade played a part in this homicide, but does say the number of homicides we have seen this year is a major concern. It's something that, that shocks the community. It's something that, that causes the community a great deal of concern because it's a loss of life in a, in a violent manner. Certainly uh, from a policing perspective, uh, it's a concern in terms of the resource intensive nature of these, these investigations. These investigations require a tremendous amount of effort on the part of all aspects of the surface, frankly. And just a day prior on June 24th, the city saw its seventh homicide case that took place on the 900 block of Miles Street East. 24-year-old Joseph Hubbard of Thunder Bay was charged with second-degree murder. The investigation is still ongoing and the identity of the victim is also not being released. But Pearson did provide some details on the case. Homicide number seven, the Miles Street homicide. At this point, our investigation indicates that there is a connection to the illicit drug trade uh, and we are while not closing our mind to other options, we are uh, advancing the investigation with that information. And it was a busy weekend for city police with a major standoff this past Saturday on Bethune Street that lasted several hours. The man arrested was 29-year-old Jamel Anthony Evans from North York. He was being sought by Norfolk Region OPP in relation to the non-fatal shooting of a woman in Simcoe on June 18th. Evans has been charged with various offenses, including aggravated assault and careless use of a firearm. Evans is being held in custody in Thunder Bay for now and is scheduled to appear in the Ontario Court of Justice in Simcoe at a later date. Mitchell Ringos, TBT News.